my dear children. I'm back with another story for you. The name of today's story is Dot, which is a story about a happy little book written and illustrated by Sonia Mehta and published by Pod Squad. So let's start the story. There was once a little book. It was called Dot. Its pages were filled with dots and hearts and ovals and stars, all playing hide and seek with each other. Dot belonged to a little girl, Minnie. Minnie loved Dot. She looked at it all day long. She took Dot with her to the playground. She kept it with her while she had her lunch and dinner. She even took it to bed with her and held it tight all night long. But as time passed, Minnie grew up. She started reading big books. Little Dot was stuck at the back of Minnie's bookshelf. Poor, poor Dot. Then Minnie grew up some more. She started going to big school. And Dot lay silently behind a pile of new books. Minnie never looked at Dot anymore. Dot was sad. The little book missed Minnie. It thought of all the fun things they used to do together. I wish we could be together again, thought Dot sadly. One day, Minnie's mama took all of Minnie's old toys and books and put them inside a big box. Then she put the box right on top of a cupboard. Oh, oh, now what will happen to poor old Dot? Many, many days passed. Poor Dot was very lonely. It really missed Minnie very, very much. It was sad being shut away in a box on top of a cupboard. Minnie got married and went away to live in her own new house. I wish I could see Minnie getting married, thought Dot sadly. It could hear everything from its box. Many, many years passed. Dot lay quietly in the box. Then, one day, Dot felt its box being moved. Minnie's mummy opened the box. All these old things have been here for so long, she said. We must throw away all this junk. Dot suddenly heard someone shout. Dot! That's my Dot! You can't throw away my Dot! said a voice. It was Minnie. She was all grown up. She picked up Dot and looked at it lovingly. Oh, my Dot, she said. I found you. She held it tight. She looked at all the pages. She showed Dot to a baby girl. The baby girl was Tara, Minnie's little daughter. Look, Tara, Minnie said. This is my Dot. Now, Dot can be yours. Little baby Tara hugged Dot. She looked at the pages full of dots and hearts and ovals and stars. She clapped her hands. Tara took Dot everywhere with her, just like her mama did. And Dot wasn't lonely anymore. Tara loves Dot. Okay, dear children. So can you tell me which book do you love? Do write in the comment section and tell me which is your favorite book. I'll wait for your responses. I'll see you again very soon with another story. Till then, take care and be good. Bye-bye.